Hi everyone. Welcome to today's discussion, Python Collections DQ. Generally DQ stands for double ended queue. So today we are going to see what is DQ and what are the different methods available inside the DQ. Before starting the double ended queue, we will just see the visual representation, how it looks like. It is same like the queue, but it will be having both ends. That means that you can add the element and remove the element in both ends. As you see in the screen, it is a double ended queue. So you can add at the rear or you can remove at the rear. At the same time, you can add at the front and you can remove at the front level. So these are the main points about the double ended queue. And then after we are going to the code snippet here. So import collections as usual, we are importing the collections module. Then inside the collections, we are having the DQ method. So DQ we are going to create, we are going to pass any uh, iterables. So one, two, three, four, five, just a sample data I'm passing and I'm creating the double ended queue variable called DE. Just run this and see. Here we have created the DQ object. So it has the elements one, two, three, four, five. As we discussed earlier, we are going to append. So in general append means it will be appending at the right hand side. So if you just, use the method append to the object. So it will be appending at the right. If you want to append at the left side, you need to explicitly mention the method name append left. So if you do that one, it will be appending at the left. So now we can have the append at both extreme levels. Okay, fine, removing from the right hand side. So generally in case of pop, it will be removing from the right hand side. So just if you execute this one, so you can see the rightmost thing has been removed. The same way, pop left will be removing from your left side. Fine. Now we have the original, let's say list or DQ, one, two, three, four, five. Now we have another method called reverse. It is a similar kind of thing. So it will reverse the thing, the name itself representing the description. So it will represent the, actually it will reverse the DQ. And then we will just create one more time to have the same set of DQ object. Now rotating left. So it will be considering like a clockwise. So that means that if you have one, two, three, four, five, it will be moving to your right hand side. So let's say I want to move two position to the right hand side. That means that so four, five will be moved to the right hand side and it will be coming at the front. Here you can see it is moving on the right side. Again, we will just reset the data setup. Now it will be in the left side. So that means that you don't need to have a method called at left. So if you are giving the negative index, so that will be pointing to your left side. So that means that the one, two will be moved to your left hand side or let's say the four five will be moved the entire data structure will be moved to the left hand side that means that one two will be moved to your left side so that will be coming at the end of the dq here you can see so the top i mean the starting place whatever the content one and two two elements will be moved on your left hand side that's why it came out and it will be added at the end of the dq again we will reset the collection okay fine now extending the queue. So the append and extending is a little bit different. For example, extending in the sense, you will be adding the another list. That list will be deconstructed and all the elements from the list or the iterables will be added to your current DQ object. So that is called the extending. If you are just using the append, this entire list will be the one part of your existing DQ object. So rather than having the list as the object or the element, we are going to just deconstruct the list and we are adding all the elements from the list to the existing DQ object. But in our case, we have the DQ 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we are extending in the sense it will deconstruct the list. That means that only the elements 88 and 99 will be added to your DQ object. Here you can see this one. The same way extend left. So it is by default adding at the right hand side. So if you want to add at the left hand side, it, the method will name will be called extend left. So that means that the list 11 and 12 will be deconstructed. That means that element 11 and element 22 will be added on the left side of your DQ object. Fine, so this is the uh, different methods available inside the DQ. I rarely see some of the implementations using for the DQ object, but however, it is available inside your collections. So however, we have seen till now, double ended queue, default dictionary, counter, and so many things. In coming videos, we will see some more things about the collections. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.